Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. This is the best angle I could get, but today I'm going to go to McDonald's. I'm actually at the back of the building, but I'm going to have to go through drive through But anyway, it looks very, very busy. So uh, I'm going to get the, my camera set up and uh, sit through this drive through and I'll be back. Okay, here we go. Okay. Um, yeah, I need your single bacon smokehouse meal uh, with fries and a Diet Coke. Thank you. I'm going to roll the window up. It's 90 degrees outside. It's 1220, so they're a little busy for lunch. Um, but we're moving pretty quick. There's two lines at this particular McDonald's, which I, probably most of them do have two lines. And uh, then you single file down to a single one after you order. But they move pretty quick, so. Hello, my name How you doing? Thank you. Thank you. How are you doing? How you doing? Is there a way I can have a sweet and sour sauce instead of ketchup? Thank you. You have the bacon smokehouse? Yeah. Here you go. Thank you very much. You too. I got our food. It wasn't too awfully painful. I think it's neat. They um, they take Apple Pay and Samsung Pay and Google Pay um, at this location. I don't know how you do that. I don't know if you just say, "Hey, um, I'm going to pay with my phone," and they um, and they like hold this little machine out. Or I'm not sure what. The, I don't know how they do it. I'm going to turn in here versus the person that's waiting for me. Um, I'm not sure how they do it. So anyway, I've never done it that way. I've always just paid with a debit card. But hopefully. I'm not too bad in the sun where you can actually see me. I got sunglasses I can't see. I'm um, a little dark. Uh, I think it'll be okay. So, well, if it's not, we'll, we'll just work it out. So I'm going to um, get the food out of the bag and take a picture and show you what it looks like. And I'll be right back. All right, here's the fries. I noticed they didn't fill them all the way up, but that's okay. And here's the burger. They didn't put very many onion, um, onion rings on there either, but it, it looks it still looks really good and there's some laying on the side here so um i tell you they didn't put a lot of bacon on it either anyway i really smell mustard that's that's the strongest smell i get out of that so i'm going to um set my camera back up the other way and uh point it towards me and i'll probably try a fry um and then i'll be right right back in just a second all right so you may have heard me ask for um sweet and sour sauce instead of ketchup um i use i mean i like ketchup with my fries but if anytime i go to mcdonald's I always get sweet and sour sauce, so uh, I'm gonna try them without the sweet and sour sauce, but I just want you to know, my favorite way of eating McDonald's french fries is with sweet and sour sauce, so. Those are the traditional salty, crispy McDonald's fries. They're really good, shoestring fries, not soggy. Always good and crispy. I've never had them, unless they're old, I've never had them <clears throat> Sorry. I've never had them not be crispy. Sweet and sour sauce. Dip your fries in there. And eat them. They're really good that way. If I am, um, anytime I get chicken nuggets, I always get sweet and sour sauce because I like the, I could literally just eat the sweet and sour sauce without anything. I could literally just like drink the sweet and sour sauce. That's how much I like it. Love it. Knows how many calories it is, but really good. So, fries are good. I like the fries. You know, they're your traditional McDonald's fries. Now, the burger, someone mentioned that they have a, um, they're supposed to be all 100% natural uh, quarter pounder. Well, all their meat now, or at least from what I understand, while wow, they're really backing them out, um, all their meat now is 100% is natural, not frozen. Uh, beef at least their quarter pounders are and their specialty burgers are and it said it said kind of indicated that it was all uh, fresh so 
So this one is, I didn't feel like getting a quarter pounder. A quarter pounder to me is just a really big cheeseburger. Um, I'd rather have something different. I've never had this smokehouse one because I think it's new. Um, don't know how long it's going to be around. So it's like, hey, yeah, I want to try one of those. Um, it does have bacon. It does have those little onion things on it. It's some kind of mustard sauce. And it looks like um, Swiss cheese or I can't tell what kind of cheese it is. But anyway, here we go. I love the flavor of the bacon and it has a it has like a bacon sauce on it I don't know if I can yeah see it has a bacon sauce it's like a liquidy bacon onion sauce um, it sounds gross but it's actually really really good um, I wish I could get one of those onion things on here let me see here's one That is a good burger. I love the the texture of the meat's really good. I mean, I always like the texture of McDonald's meat, but this is, um, it does feel like it may be um, non-frozen meat. It could be, but it, to me, it seems looser. Like it's not as densely, densely packed as sometimes when you get the frozen burgers. Um, it seems like a, a looser packed burger. Um, the bacon and the onion flavor is tremendous in this, I love it. Um, the burger itself, like I said, is, is really good. It pulls, it pulls right apart in these hunks. Where the frozen ones, they didn't really do that. You know, they were all really compressed and really packed in there. Well, if you like, if you like bacon and you like um, a little bit of that onion sauce kind of flavor, a little smoky barbecuey kind of flavor. It's not really barbecue because it's not a sweet like flavor, but it does have a kind of a smoky barbecue kind of flavor. This is really good. Um, like I said, the best thing about it is the is the bacon and the little sauce it has on it, so it's really good. So um, I'm gonna give this one. Man, I hate that there's nothing really to knock on it. It's really good. I can't imagine getting a double. A double would be huge. Uh, people are getting in next door to me. Um, a double would be really big. Um, I would have normally at one time eaten a double, but nowadays I try not to get that big a burger. But um, a double would be huge. Um, this is just a single. It's really good. Um, if I if you didn't hear the price. The price was eight fifteen with the drink and the fries. So that was for the meal. So eight fifteen. I don't think that's too bad. Um, not as cheap as some places have gone, but not as expensive as others. So I think it's really good. So I'm gonna give this one a five. The burger's good. The fries are good. The um, you know I have I, like I said I have absolutely nothing about this burger to complain about. So hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.